Hey everyone, Alex here from Dapper Penguin Studios. Following the release week, we received a huge number of requests for a free play option to be added to the game. We took your feedback on board and today I'm very excited to be presenting Recipe for Disaster new free play mode, along with our new festive content update. We wanted to make it really easy for players to jump straight into a new game, so when you select free play, you'll be able to pick from a selection of difficulty presets. For those of you who want to customize your gameplay even further, we've added custom settings. Under general settings, you can adjust starting money, popularity and restaurant location, define losing conditions and toggle dynamic and world events. The dining room settings allow you to change how customers behave, Options include being able to set customer food preferences, variety, flow, and patience rate. You can also configure how frequently restrooms are used, how fast dirt builds up, and how harsh your customers' reviews will be. Kitchen settings relate to your employees and recipes. Here, you can define how many employees will be available for hire each day. You can set the fairness of salaries, the rate of stress gain, and the frequency of fire disasters. Lastly, you can set your dishes fair markup percentage and toggle infinite resources on or off. After you've made your choices, you can then copy the custom setting seed and share it with other players. While there's no required objective to beat in free play, we thought it would be fun to include some optional objectives. These objectives are linked to your restaurant's food profit, 5 star reviews, and seated tables. Of course, more will come. When you complete the tier, you'll unlock its associated trophy, which is a placeable object that will give your restaurant a huge ambience boost. In response to your suggestions, we've added 25 new ingredients to the free play mode recipe editor, which brings the total amount to almost 100. We'll be adding these to the campaign as we continue to expand it. With Christmas fast approaching, we thought now would be the perfect time to add some seasonal contact. New buildable objects include a Christmas tree with decor, festive lights, and a log fire and chimney complete with stockings. In the avatar editor, you'll find a new Santa hat and suit to give your staff more extra theming. And finally, Christmas wouldn't be complete without some snow. This new weather type will add some additional challenge as it causes customers waiting in line to run out of patience much faster. Now, if you are enjoying the game, we'd really appreciate it if you could leave us a review on Steam. We're a small team, so any extra support that you can give us at this stage is greatly appreciated. Remember, if you have any comments and ideas about the game, you can post them on the Steam forums, Twitter and Discord. I'll be back in the new year with another update, so take care until then.